day viewers welcome to this channel breaking news senate president under attack of allegedly creating office for first lady for his wife senior president Gosui Ababio has reportedly created the office of first lady to the senior president for his wife Ekaite Uno Oma Ababio Sahara reporters Sahara reporters has reported Mrs. Ababio, the founder of non-governmental organization known as Life Enhancement Initiative, FLEI, according to a report by Track News Media, the development sparked ag angry reaction from many lawmakers who are said to be uncomfortable with arrangements with the arrangement a source spokesman to track news media said there is outrage in the national assembly because senior president Ababio created an office for his wife uloma there is now an office of first lady to the senior president as at the time of filling this report the senior president and his media team we are yet to react to the allegation hmm if people are saying that there is need for Ababio to look into that law, that policy you want to bring, so that he can be able to work on on it, so that everybody will look into it, especially the leg legislative arm of government, so that to avoid controversy or regret in future. People are questioning him and they're saying, is there a need for senior president to appoint the office of first lady for his wife? So does it mean that you're going to have two different first lady in Nigeria as consign? The first lady of the president and also the first lady of the senior president. Hmm. That is why the legislative arm of government are still questioning it. In order to know and check me that is it something is it sustainable after creating it for his tenor when on that tenor come will they be as is it going to be acceptable how are they going to sustain it and the things that are involved because it involve resources it involve spending it involve action it involve a lot of things it does cannot just create office of first lady without funding it or without supporting it or without there is that they will create another revenue because whatever she wants to do will be documented and she would like to visit and do a lot of activities for example she even have an uh, an ngo a non-governmental organization that's ngo family life enhancement initiative so i think it handles family and all that enhancement and the family and do greater job so with this now she will be making a lot of spendings and uh, innovatives in nigeria and adventures so that is why they are still questioning it but i don't know if it's finally approved or if they mm. we surprised the chief arm of government in nigeria has approved it, has given his approval because if the Mr. President Bolat Tinubu I mean, has given his approval, who are we to question it? So, all we need to do is to make sure we work on this plan very, very well and look into it to see that this has to come to be or not.
And if our venture he has made up his mind at this name that is going to come to be, I believe that is in a good position to make every resources available. And in order not to stress the nation or to use it as a source of embezzling government money. But I believe it should be a, an initiative that will enhance our country, Nigeria. From the developed countries, this is how they are doing it. Because I see that in Nigeria, we create a lot of loose holes that is taking our revenue that are not necessary for us to create or do. And we'll be doing it and we're wasting resources. It's not sure. The creation of this uh, first lady of should not be for spending money, but should be for as a means of generating money and bringing about peace and progress for the nation, for the less people, or less, less people so that they, they too can also participate in it. So, my wonderful listener, I would like you to know that your comments can and your opinion can. So I would like you to drop your comment on the comment section and your opinion and as well as subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell button.